what does it take to be a software developer? Well, in my mind, high IQ, complex math, and a little bit of social isolation. But it turns out I was wrong and it mostly takes discipline. My journey started way before I knew what coding was. Picture this, I was about 11 years old, designing blogs and front pages, zero code, because someone told me coding was too hard for me. The skill, something about creating things online always felt right. I loved making things look beautiful, I just didn't know it yet, but I was chasing the high of building and customizing. I just didn't have the tools for it. Years later, I hit that what am I doing with my life phase. So for context, after after I finished high school, I actually went to college for interior design. I thought it made sense. I was creative, I liked visual stuff, but something always felt off, so I dropped out. I never finished, and it wasn't because I didn't care, but because deep down, I knew that wasn't it for me. So I turned to YouTube, and at first, it felt like the answer. I was making money to be creative, independent, make videos and tell stories, but eventually it all started feeling kind of empty. My old YouTube channel wasn't giving me anything anymore. No spark, no joy, no paycheck. So then I realized I didn't just want to create. I wanted to build something I could grow into, something that could grow with me. And at this point in my life, I needed a career, a real one. Then one day, out of nowhere, JavaScript just walked into my life. Okay, maybe not that dramatic, but it was more like, I wanna make pretty things. Oh no, coding exists. I guess I'm doing this now. <laughs> Flash forward a bit. I was broke, creatively drained, and forcing myself to make videos for an audience that barely existed. But this tiny detour, it was the moment everything shifted. What started as I just want to design pretty things turned into a late night googling what the hell a div is. So here's where things spiral in the best way. Graphic design led me into this weird coding rabbit hole. I thought if I want to be a real designer, I should learn to code. Spoiler alert, that's false, but it worked out anyway. Suddenly I'm writing for loops at 3 a.m., questioning my sanity, crying over semicolons like they owe me money. Yes, it was this bad. I found a JavaScript tutorial on YouTube and the video had like 72 hours. My brain was melting through my ears at the end of that video. But the thing is, I loved it. This was the first time I felt like I could actually build my ideas. <sighs> Try to make my game work. I mean, I can't, I can't do it by myself yet, but I've learned how to do it and I'm super happy about it. It's just not working properly now. I mean, it works, but I need the bomb to be on the squares, like, because it's Minesweeper. And I'm so excited about it. Like I'm learning from a class that's happened this week and it's been super helpful. I scrolled Pinterest dreaming of those websites I saw as a kid and now I was getting dangerously close to building them. Then I made a mistake. A good mistake, by the way. I took Harvard's CS50 course and found myself staring at assembly. What the hell is a pointer? I do know now, but back then I was like, do I need to know this to make a landing page? I did not, but I panicked anyway. But here's the thing, I didn't quit. Even when I wanted to, even when I cried, even when I felt like a fraud. And that happened a lot, by the way. And that's because this became my anchor after a really painful breakup. Coding kind of saved me. It gave me something to wake up for. I've learned so much, not in the I've mastered everything and I'm teaching a course kind of way, but in the I literally had no idea what I was doing. And now I kind of do a way, which honestly is huge. I built games, I built landing pages that made me feel like a real dev. I messed around in React, I built full websites from scratch, and I made buttons that actually did stuff. And yes, I debugged until I started seeing bugs in my dreams. And this was not what I signed up for, but it's real. Like, you're gonna have dreams of your code, of bugs in your code, and they're gonna haunt you at night. It only gets better from here, I promise. I've had to fight through imposter syndrome almost every single day, but I kept going. Not because I'm a genius, not because I had all the answers, but because I wanted to be good at this. And that was enough. 
There were so many moments where I thought, maybe I'm just not cut out for this. But here's what I realized. You don't have to be the smartest. You don't have to be the fastest. You just have to keep showing up. And I'm still learning every day. And yeah, I even became a university girly again. After mastering web development, I knew I wanted more. So now I'm studying mobile development to take things further. I'm learning how to bring full experiences to users, not just screens. Connecting front-end to back-end, cross-platform builds, write cleaner code, scalable code, and designing apps that don't just look good, they actually work. So if you're watching this and thinking, yeah, but she probably has something that I don't, trust me, I don't. I started from absolute zero. And if I can do it, you can too. I'm not a genius, I'm not an expert, I'm just a girl with Wi-Fi and way too many late nights under her belt. I'm not perfect, I'm still learning, sometimes I still have to Google how to center a div. So if you're like me, curious, creative, and kinda lost, but deep down, you know you want more, then this channel is for you. Cause I'm not done. I'm not even close. So subscribe if you like it and I'm gonna see you very, very soon with a lot of bugs on my code because that's just the way it is.